we would like to confirm first. Right now, it's just the NLD. Um, we're getting this information, and we'd like to hear it first from the Myanmar military. Beta So, um, um, if uh, if indeed um, she has been charged um, with these offenses, then um, we actually see it as the military levying politically motivated charges against her, and um, it is a way for the military to entrench its impunity by ruling through fear and intimidation. To some extent, this was not unexpected. It was clear that the military were going to look for some legal cases against the leaders of the National League for Democracy, and especially Aung San Suu Kyi, to actually legitimize what they have tried to do, and that is really a power grab. Uh, they've accused her of importing illegally a certain amount of communications equipment, which are walkie-talkies. Uh, this is a relatively minor crime, but unfortunately, if she's convicted, it does mean that she will not be able to stand for elections in 12 months' time if the Tatmadaw, the military, go ahead and allow those elections to take place. There's little doubt that the game plan is to try and silence Aung San Suu Kyi to prevent her having a political future in the country and to prevent her having any influence on future elections. And there's no doubt that while these laws are actually being manipulated, uh, they are using them. It's a typical military mindset. Uh, they are very pedantic, but they are very organized and they are very legalistically minded. 